early in the series, I did a video on the transmission for this car. It's a Tremec 256. Uh, what I didn't talk about is the clutch I'm going to use with this. And for this one, I chose the Center Force Dyad. It's a twin disc clutch, um, and it's pretty trick. So I'm going to show you some of the ins and outs of it, um, and then we'll unpa uh, unpack it and uh, show you how it's uh, put together. Center Force uses a ball bearing system at the fulcrum point to allow a smoother, easier pedal feel and transition uh, when applying the clutch. Um, I also use centrifugal weights on the outside, uh, which I really like because as those are forced outward uh, as the clutch spins, it helps provide an even greater clamping load um, on the pressure plate. So um, it's two of the key things on this clutch and a lot of the center force clutches that give them the power that it does. When you open the box, center force has all the documents that you'll need right there on top. The really key one there is the, the dyno sheet that they provide with this. Now that dyno sheet is not a mathematical representation of what that clutch will hold like everyone else on the market does. Center Force actually built a dyno where they pressure test these clutches to figure out exactly what the clamping power and the torque ha handling uh, capability of it is. So that number, that 1333, is the actual number that this clutch holds. Now, the rest of the documents that are in here are the assembly instructions, um, some decals, some important little critical things to do, not to do. Um, there's a nice uh, checklist in here also on um, steps to go through. Um, kind of a nice thing to have uh, to kind of physically go through and check off as you're uh, working through the assembly of the, uh, the clutch. Center Force does a nice job of packing this with a nice foam packaging. Um, within the box, there's the hardware kit that's got the uh, flywheel bolts, any of the studs that you need, um, pilot tool, and then also um, the different size pilot bearings, depending on which crank uh, that you have. And now we can start disassembling the clutch. Center Force uses all ARP hardware in their kits, which I really like. Uh, remove the pressure plate. And then we can start uh, removing the the discs. Um, you've got the first floating disc in there, which is the second disc within this. Um, it marries up with the drive disc, which we'll see in just a moment. So you've got this, and then you've got the floater um, that goes in between the two clutch discs. Now the floater's kind of... Um, a good place to stop here and show you that they reference all these because this clutch is balanced when it comes from center force you don't have to balance it you don't have to worry about it being out they balance it they mark it for you so you know exactly how it's supposed to go back together and now we can remove the floater um, the next disc or the first disc within this is the drive disc um, it's got pins, drive pins on it, which marry up to the first floating disc that we saw. So the two work in conjunction with the floater. Uh, very trick setup. Very cool how that works. Uh, the clamping power is unbelievable. You can see the detail within the flywheel of how the two or the whole assembly marries up to it. And that's the center force dyad broken down. I'm really excited about getting this thing in the car and, and actually owning one myself. I've driven two cars with the dyad in it, and the clutch feels amazing. Really looking forward to that in this one. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a video when we get down to actually putting it all together with the transmission and mating it up to the engine for the last time. But uh, for now, that's it. Uh, please uh, don't hesitate to leave any comments below. Love to answer any questions that you have. Uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll be back with another uh, video soon. Thanks.